Hi, my name is Sheila Willis of Impact Tourism, the developer of the History Check mobile app. Welcome to History Bites, your daily dose of Alberta historical trivia. Brought to you in partnership with Belt Drive Benny Media and the Canadian Motorcycle Tourism Association. You can register to answer the questions for a shot to win prizes or just take the quiz to satisfy your own brain power. Either way, we're excited to see how much of Alberta's history you really know. And yesterday's question was sent to us by Michelle Wright of the Smoky Lake region. And the question is, which Alberta town is named for the inventor of one of the 20th century's most important agricultural tools? Is it A, Killam, B, Munson, or C, Nobleford? And the answer is C, Nobleford. Charles S. Noble, who Nobleford is named after, was an inventive type of guy, especially for the agricultural industry. His invention was the Noble Blade, which is a V-shaped cultivational tool. It controls weeds with little soil disturbance, and many consider it one of the 20th century's most important agricultural innovations. Charles was a progressive thinker who was an ambitious farmer and businessman whose guiding principle was, go big or go home. I like this guy, sounds like someone I know. Anyway, he moved to Claire's home in 1903 and established Home Farms, which was to become the town of Nobleford. This was a 4,000 acre property with homes, offices, a store, elevator, and even a hotel. By 1916, he farmed about 10,000 acres in the area and added 20,000 more unbroken acres when he purchased the Cameron Ranch about 56 kilometers away. In 1936, his 36,000 acre farm was the largest in the British Empire. He used 8 to 10 steam engines, each pulling 8 to 10 bottom plows, all operating 24 hours a day to break the land. He also invented a transport system that moved the grain that trimmed about 29 kilometers off the grain haul. Eventually the bank foreclosed on Noble's farms because of poor grain prices combined with heavy debt. Much of his holdings were sold off in about 1922. He recouped though and returned to farming in 1928, just in time for the devastation of the Dirty Thirties, which led him to invent the Noble Blade. Once again, thank you, for Michelle, for sending the Greens West article where much of this info was given. And tomorrow's question is, some homes from Brule, Alberta, were disassembled and A. Reconstructed in Edmonton B. Sold for firewood or C. Used to shore up the mine Come back tomorrow for the answer and the story that goes along with it. Then we'll load you up with the next day's question. Enjoy!